Hey gang, Duvall here for Toy World Order. You know, lately I've come across a new little bit of a side passion of the sickness that we like to call toy collecting. Basically, the 1980s talking toys from Worlds of Wonder, like my buddy Teddy Ruxpin here. So I started looking for these things and finding them, and I came across one that always captured my imagination. Good old talking Mickey Mouse. Now, when I found Mickey Mouse, nothing worked on him. He had no sound, no animatronics, nothing. The only thing that worked on him was the tape player. So after doing a little bit of research online, I decided I was gonna to try to fix one of these little guys myself. So come along with me and Mickey as we show you just the adventure that I went through to get Mickey working just like new. First thing we do is pop open the battery compartment, remove the test batteries, and then we open the cassette door and remove the tape. It's all pretty easy to this point, so keep following me here. Using a Phillips screwdriver, we undo the four screws holding the tape player to Mickey, and once free, the tape player easily pops out of the housing, allowing you to access the control wires for the motors and the speaker and the motherboard and such. Once that's done, we go and find a sharp utility knife and locate the seam on the back of Mickey's head. With the blade, we carefully slice down his head, popping and cutting the stitch, holding the seam together. Once the fur has been pulled away, we can then carefully peel off the foam head that's glued to the head assembly. Now, I choose to use the knife here to slice it free. It makes it a little easier. That way you're not ripping the foam as you pull it off. Once it's loose, well, let's just set it aside. We'll get back to that later. In order to get inside his head, <laughs> get inside his head. <laughs> we first have to unfasten the screws holding the back plate to the head. Then we can unscrew his lower jaw and remove the face plate. After popping the upper jaw off, we can split the head open to reveal the motors inside. But once I was able to get inside, I massaged the motors a little bit to get them running again since they've been sitting for so many years. After a bit, I managed to get the eyelid plate moving pretty smoothly. With a little more work, I got the upper and lower mouth motors running again as well. You can also see I removed the fur from his nose so I could throw all of his fabric coverings into the wash in order to clean them up all nice and neat. And while the movements of the mouth look really nice, the sad thing here is that the animation was a bit more subdued due to the weight of the nose. Now that the face works properly again, let's take a look at that speaker issue. Now the speaker here is held in place by a small metal plate and screw, so after pulling it out, we see what the issue is. This speaker is broke all to hell. I mean, you can see what it should look like thanks to my replacement speaker here. The old one is ripped, torn, and just beat up. Now, the new speaker plugs in like the old one into the housing. And after reattaching the metal plate and plugging it into the motherboard, we have the moment of truth. Success! Score! Listen to that sound. It's awesome. Now let's get him back together. We first replace his nose using a couple of small drops of super glue. And of course, after putting his head back together and pulling his fur back on, which I'm not going to bore you with because there's quite a bit involved. Uh, there was lots of cursing. I might have cried a little. And after getting him all back together and turning the power on. Are you ready? Let's turn to the first page. Here we go! It was the first day of our vacation to Norway. Goofy and I had just checked into a hotel on the morning. Just like new. Now, there's a number of sites out there that you can actually check out to have one of these fixed professionally. I don't recommend you do it yourself. I did it just for giggles, just because I wanted to see if I could. But here's a couple of sites you might want to check out if you have one of these little guys and it doesn't work anymore. There's Dr. C-E-A-S at animationfascination.com, Dr. Eeyore at dreeyoreshospital.net, and Dr. Betty at toysthattalk.com. Now, check out each one of these sites as they offer just slightly different services. So check each one and look to see just which one is right for your broken little buddy. So there you go, gang. 
Now, Mickey and I are gonna go off on our wonderful adventure of storytelling. So if you'll excuse me. Hey, Mickey, you know what I wanna see first? The place where they catch those funny little fishies. <laughs> you mean sardines? They catch them here in the ocean. Silly goofy. Gosh, that sure is a silly, silly goofy. Until next time, gang, this is Duvall saying, keep playing with your toys. <laughs>